one piece of advice I would give to people applying this year for the interview would be to try as much as possible to stay calm. It feels like a very high stakes situation. Um, like it's a big part of the process in deciding on where you're going to spend the next three years of your life. But then one thing to take into account is one, the interview is just one part of a big holistic process that Cambridge uses to decide yeah. if they're going to give you an offer or not. And two, there's plenty of people that don't make it to Cambridge, but um, they, they're perfectly successful in other places. But I think I kind of went in with the expectation I had to know everything. Yeah. And you actually don't. So You don't, because like, sometimes they like fill in the gaps. They'll ask you like, oh, do you know, I think in one of my questions, they asked, they asked a question and they said something along the lines of like, oh, do you, have you heard of this before? Have you seen this before? And I hadn't. So they basically just filled in a bit of context to help me like answer the question. So it's not the end of the world if like you haven't covered everything that they could possibly ask. Because they're, at the end of the day, they're trying to just see how you answer and how you think. It's not necessarily about what you know right now. It's not about knowing everything at the start. It's about, it's really about getting stuck and then being given feedback and then sort of finding a way through that. I would say I was really stressed before my interviews and you will be nervous, but try not to let that hold you back. Yeah, I would um, say I'm quite weird in that I wasn't nervous before. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only because I was, um, yeah, not treating it yeah. as a proper possibility. Yeah, I think like everybody else that I've talked to is nervous. I've not so, um... talked to anyone else who said they felt the same way. Yeah. <laughs>